To make this whole app more useful, we're going to modify our edit view screen so it shows interesting places. After all, if visiting London is on your bucket list, you probably want some suggestions for things to see nearby. This might sound hard to do, but actually we can query Wikipedia using GPS coordinates, and it'll send back a list of places that are nearby. Wikipedia's API sends back JSON data in a precise format, so we have to do a little work to define codable structs capable of storing it all. The structure is this. The main result contains the result of our query in a key called query. Inside the query is a pages dictionary with page IDs as a key and the Wikipedia pages themselves as values. Each page has a lot of information, including its coordinates, title, terms, and more. We can represent that using three linked structs. So create a new Swift file called result.swift and give it this content. Struct result conforms to codable. Let query query. Struct query conforms to codable. Let pages dictionary with int as key and page as value. Struct page conforms to codable. Let page ID int. Let title string. Let terms a dictionary with strings as a key and arrays of strings as the value optional. We're going to use that to store data we fetch from Wikipedia, then show it immediately in our UI. However, we need something to show while the fetch is happening. A text view saying loading or similar ought to do the trick. This means conditionally showing different UI depending on the current load state. And that means defining an enum that actually stores the current load state, otherwise we don't know what to show. Start by adding this nested enum to edit view. Enum loading state, case loading, loaded, failed. Those cover all the states we need to represent our network request. Next, we're going to add two properties to edit view. One to store the loading state, and one to store an array of Wikipedia pages once the fetch is completed. So add these two now. At state, private var, loading state, equals loading state dot loading. And at state, private var, pages, equals an array of page. Before we tackle the network request itself, we have one last easy job to do. Adding to our form a new section to show pages if they've loaded or status text views otherwise. We can put these if else if conditions right into the section and SwiftUI will figure it out. So put this section below the existing one. Section, header, text nearby. If we've loaded our data, we'll do a list of pages using the page ID as the ID, page in, then do its title in a headline font, plus a colon space, plus page description here in italic. Else if we're currently loading, we'll do text loading. Otherwise, it's an error, we'll just say please try again later. Now notice how we can use plus to add text views together. This lets us create larger text views that mix and match different kinds of formatting. That page description here text is just temporary, we'll replace it soon. Now for the part that really brings all this together. We have to fetch some data from Wikipedia, decode it into a result, assign its pages to our pages property, then set loaded state to loaded. If the fetch fails, we'll set loading state to failed, and SwiftUI will load the appropriate UI. Now warning, the Wikipedia URL we have to load is really long, so rather than try to type it in from this video, you might want to look at my GitHub gist and copy it from there. It's at bit.ly slash swift wiki. Anyway, it's on my clipboard already, so I'll just paste it in. Add this method to edit view. Funk, fetch nearby places. And I'll press paste now for my clipboard. Guard let URL equals a URL of that string. Else, print bad URL, URL string. And return. Then we'll make a new data task with that URL. We'll get back data, response, and error. And if we get some data, then we'll say if let data equals data, then we got some data back. We'll make a new JSON decoder. Then we'll set items to be equal to decoding our data into a result object. If we're here, it means it all worked, so we'll convert the array values to our pages array. Self.pages equals array items.query.pages.values. Then we'll say we've loaded and return. 
but if we're still here, it means the request failed somehow. So I'll say self.loadingState equals dot failed. And remember to add dot resume to your data task, otherwise it'll never start. That request should begin as soon as a view appears. So add this on appear modifier after the existing navigation bar items modifier. Dot on appear, perform, fetch nearby places. Now go ahead and run the app again. You'll find that as you drop a pin, our edit view screen will slide up and show you all the places nearby. Nice.